Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alright, uh, today we will cover topic for basics of motion because I have a question from students regarding a basics for motion and I found that most of the student problem is they don't understand the basics of a motion. Okay, so therefore to make you understand uh, a motion, the relationship between uh, displacement, a distance, speed, velocity, and also um, acceleration, All right? So here is the question or the problem that we'll try to solve. Okay. So this is a motion of object from initial position one, until the final position 5 so based on the diagram above so you can see here starting from 1 object move to number 2 here from 0 meter per second the speed increase to 10 meter per second in 2 seconds. The speed increase in 2 seconds. Okay. Then, the object still move from 2 to 3 with the same velocity or with a constant velocity for another 2 seconds. Okay. So, from 3, it moves to position 4 from 10 meter per second. Now the velocity decrease to 0, meaning rest or stationary again. Then it moves back, okay, move back to position 5 but in the different direction. Okay. So this is the motion of the object. The velocity change, and surely there's acceleration change, and the displacement or the distance also change. So the first question here is to find the acceleration from each position. Okay, what is the acceleration from position one to two, from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and also 4 to 5, right? So from position 1 to 2, we start with a position 1 to 2, so acceleration. Okay, so acceleration is given by V minus the initial velocity over time. Okay, in SPM you use A V minus U over T. But basically this is the same formula. So from position 1 to 2 is 10 minus V0 divided by 2. So the acceleration is 5 ms negative 2. Right. From position 2 to 3, okay, acceleration from 2 to 3, so this is 1 to 2, 1 to 2, okay, 2 to 3, same formula V minus V naught initial divided by time, so 10 minus 10 divided by 2, so the acceleration here is 0. The object move but with a constant velocity, there is no acceleration. Okay. Then, what is the acceleration from position 3 to position 4? So, same formula. 
v minus v naught divided by t. So zero minus ten divided by two. So the acceleration from three to four, you get the negative five. Okay. So this one is accelerate. Down here is decelerate. Even though, okay, so the positive and negative here, it does not show you the direction. The positive and negative here show you either the velocity increase or when negative meaning the velocity is decrease. Okay, so distance still change, displacement still change. Next, from A, from number 4 to number 5, so final is 10 divided by 0, minus 0 divided by 2, so from 4 to position 5, still you get 5 ms negative 2. Even though the direction is changing, it moves back, even though the direction is changed, it moves back, but it still get the positive value because it is accelerate and the velocity is increased even though the right direction change okay this is important for you to understand so here the acceleration here is 5 the acceleration from 2 to 3 is 0. From 3 to 4, negative 5 because decelerate, slowing down. And here, even though it moved back, we still got 5 ms negative 2. So that is for acceleration. So acceleration positive showing you it's accelerate. Negative mean it's decelerate. Zero, zero acceleration is either two, either it's stationary, or based on this equation, this question you got, it's not stationary, but it move with a constant speed or constant velocity or uniform velocity. That is about the acceleration. Okay. So here we're done discussing this. On the next video, we will discuss number two, which is how to find the distance travel and how to find the displacement of this object. So hope this make you clear a little bit about acceleration and see you again on the next video where I will discuss on how to find the distance and the displacement of the object. Okay, bye-bye.